Rev up your engine! Here it is, 1996 Mazda B3000. Check this out. All right, speak and span, baby. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it as we go on. And the engine is running. There it is. There is a file right there. You can see it. There it is right there. And the engine is running right now. It's smooth. Smooth as if it's brand new. What that means is that someone has really taken care of it. Who would that be? Figure it out. I own this since January 1997. It was a year old. It only had 11,000 miles on it back then. It's got a fourth set of clutch on it. It's standard V6 rear-wheel drive. And uh, I've done quite a few things on it. Every breath that this truck takes, I know whether that breath was normal or abnormal. That means I have become the pulmonologist. I have flushed and cleaned out every system of this vehicle, including the differential. The gas lines that come from the fuel filtered on the bay to the combustion. There are two lines, metal lines. They are so close, the way they designed is Mazda 4, whoever they are, that they constantly kept rubbing up against each other, causing it to crack eventually. I replaced the sections that were bad. And um, the filler neck hose, in Espanol, it's called La Manguera de Cervico de Gasolina. That baby right there, this right here, is the filler neck hose and it's gonna go from the filler neck straight down to the top of the gas tank and I have always used conventional oil now you can ask me any question on my forum and I'll give you a response to whatever problem you have with your Mazda B3000 or any B series truck the yeah, as you can see, the coil that uh, you see here, this is the third in its lifetime. And um, people who keep spending money on the new vehicle, they get sucked into this financial conundrum by this false advertising. Uh, but let me just finish it up by saying that I'm proud of my fleet of vehicles. You can say whatever you want to say. And uh, even if I hit the jackpot, I'm never gonna fall for the trap that has been meticulously designed by the CEOs and financial managers of this uh, big automobile industry. At some point in time, I may consider hybrid or electric, but I have to do quite a bit of study before I add that on my fleet. Thank you for watching.